Hello friends, how's it going? My name is Isaac David and this is The Daily Disciple where I help you follow Jesus daily. Today, um, I'm doing something that I've put off doing for a very long time. Today, I'm going to be reacting to some of my old videos. Uh, this is going to be extremely painful. I I'm not looking forward to this at all. But I know you'll find some uh, good entertainment in it and we can, uh, I don't know, see what I was doing back then. Some of these videos are from four years ago. Um, I feel like f these four years have flown by because it doesn't feel like I've been doing this that long. But at the same time, I can't really remember anything before doing this with Daily Disciple and stuff like that. So, okay, I want to see when some of these videos were published. So, June 3rd, 2017. I think that would have been after my first year at university because that was when I was like, okay, I'm not going to go back to university. I'm going to do this daily disciple thing. And it's crazy to think about that was my plan. Like, bro, like what? You didn't even put out any videos at all. This video has like 33 views, but that was my dream. That was my calling. That was my mission that I was like, I'm going to do this. I'd been blogging for a while before that, um, but this was like my first stab at it. And it is interesting. So I got a couple videos for you. Um, hit the like and subscribe if you uh, enjoyed this this content. This is kind of unusual content for me, but you know you know what it is. Uh, hang out with me, and uh, I put out new videos every single week. So you'll want to stick around. Um, and also thank you to everyone on Patreon. If you were to tell this kid, and maybe I'll get more sentimental later, but if you were to tell this kid that he would be like able to do this at least part time, like in his life, like that would be a thing that he could do. Like that is amazing. And it's because of the patrons that that's even possible. Um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to look back at this guy here and uh, like me, you know, however many years down the road and be like, yo, like you can do, you're doing it full time in the future. So I'm just excited for that. But you know what? I'm just, I don't know. God's been, God's been working in my life and just through you guys. So thank you. Thank you for that. Now, let's get into this video here. Okay, this is a video, what does it mean to live authentically? I, I, I feel like I probably agree with what I'm about to say here, but um, we can critique some of the other things. What does it mean to live authentically? And does the Bible even call for that? This is The Passionate Pursuit. The Passionate Pursuit. Yeah, that was the first thing I tried to launch, The Passionate Pursuit. Um, in the background there, that's, um, what is it, Beautiful Eulogy? some kind of I don't know somehow I got the instrumental track and I was like I can use this fine that's hey pretty guys. cool people used to tell me I used to get comments one guy commented he was like this guy's eye contact uh scares me he, I don't think he blinked once throughout this whole video and that's something that I thought about to this day like <laughs> I I have back then I was like oh eye contact that's that's what it you know you connect with the audience and um I didn't realize that it was becoming so uh, I you know made you uncomfortable when you watch the video so now I try to focus on not con eye contact all the time just like you know periodic that kind of thing similar to how you talk in a conversation but back then too I was really uh, I don't know I was focused on wanting it within conversations too to make sure people knew I was paying attention so I would have prolonged eye contact and I fixed that um, but back then if you were to talk to me in those times you might have gotten some uh, <laughs> prolonged eye contact that might have got, made you uncomfortable but sorry about that you know we all live and learn but yeah I know you've heard the saying before, live authentically, but oftentimes when we think of living authentically, we have a bit of a conflict going on in the Christian worldview. Now it's interesting. Okay. The, the, the beard scares me. The fact that I don't have a beard here, it, it scares me. My face looks pretty like skinny. Like I feel like I was probably like 15 pounds lighter than I am now, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, but with the beard, without the beard, man, I don't know. Like you guys should see, oh, I'm going to put up, uh, my university ID card picture. I look like a serial killer in it. It's frightening. I'm like, what on earth? How did anybody hang out with me? Um, at that point or <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's just interesting, man. Also the decor in here, like it, it seems like I'm in some sort of like, I don't know, um, a uh, maritime like little museum that's what it with the old pictures of the boats and stuff and the lakes it's like you kind of like i should almost be dressed up in like some sort of like historical attire telling you about the 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 mid 19th century or something like that um that's kind of the vibes i'm getting here but <laughs> interesting because there's also there's two different things here 
in the Bible, we learn that we're sinful, right? Yes. We everyone is sin. Theology is good. Short. And in ourselves, look at those pop-up no graphics. Good. So are we saying? Have I gotten lazy? I don't do those anymore. To who we are, our sinful nature, embrace the sinful nature. No, certainly not. In the Bible, we are no, certainly not, friends. Embrace the new man. The old has gone, and the new has. I don't know why I talk like that. Even I do that in videos. I. I have two like I have two modes. I either have like super goofy mode where I just don't speak English um, properly at all, and, and like intentionally and just sound like an idiot, or I try to go into hyperdrive and I start saying things like "certainly not." <laughs> like what is that? Like why? Why, bro? Oh man, that's so. <laughs> So certainly not friends <laughs> i start saying things like henceforth um <laughs> i was trying my best living as the old man but it's living as a new man in christ accepting our gifts our talents our personalities and using those for the glory of god it's a good message it's a good message what can i say the message is still strong you know authenticity yeah we need to understand yes we're sinful we're broken people but we can step into the new man that god is calling us into the new creation and live authentically to that calling with our talent skills abilities it's a good message you can notice off to the side you see all those books um this was like my school desk i was i guess i was just okay wait yeah, I would have already finished my first year. I'm almost thinking this is before I started my first year at university. Oh, I don't know, man. I got to do some research on that. Maybe somebody can tell me in the comments if a sibling is watching. Uh, <laughs> but but that's where I did all my school. You see, I, mean, I, I got a bunch of different books there, my math books. Okay, this, uh, this is bringing back some nice memories. I still use that desk every day. And it's still in the studio here. It's just before I kind of renovated it, put up new drywall, put a new carpet in, um, you know, spiced it up, up, up a little bit. Okay, now I think it's coming to me. I think that video that I showed you before was before I entered university. And this is the f one of the first videos that I, that I made after I knew I was going to leave university because as you know, well, as you don't know, you don't know this because I'm about to show you the video. Um, this is called a crisis of content and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty good. I don't know. I haven't seen this in a long time, but I feel like at the time I was pretty, uh, pretty happy with it. Um, so this would have been like three years ago. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Caleb. Yeah. I want to make more videos for like daily. Okay, just to, just to, uh, just to stop. I'm sorry. I'm pausing it so much, but okay. This is my younger brother, Caleb, and you guys will know Caleb from Redeem 180, um, our new uh, kind of ministry that we're starting, uh, helping the everyday Christian use their social media for Jesus. Uh, it's going to be launching pretty soon. Um, but just seeing this, like, we we've never really been in too much content before this, so. I'm kind of interested that he said yes to being in this video with me um, because I feel like nowadays if I were to ask him to jump on, he, he he's going to be more hesitant. Um, but now with Redeem 180, you know, he's going to get out there and, and be more in content, I feel like. So maybe I'll get him on this channel. We can we Maybe we can both react to this video. Probably not. But anyway. The disciple. Mm -hmm. I can't for the life of me figure out what kind of style, like what kind of types of videos hey, to make. Hey, would you be one of those uh, theological dudes who just oh. spouts out theology? in mm. front of the camera. That's a good idea. Hmm. <laughs> Hello, I'm my scared. name is Bishop Archibald Clements III. I am most pleased to be with you this evening. Um, uh, today I want to explore some of the passages we read in First Hesitations 3 through 15. I want to be, oh, pardon me, that's not a book in the Bible. I am sorry about that. <laughs> Regardless, I'm is it continue. bad that I'm laughing at my own dumb impression? It's like a split between an Australian, like I heard some like Australian notes at the beginning, and then I know I'm trying to go more British, but I'm just like, <laughs> I can't believe like, this is so funny. Like this is, I love the internet in some ways because like, I can't believe I put this out for other people to watch, like people that knew me and stuff like that. Like, that's so funny. But even me saying that, I know there's a video that I probably put out a year ago or less that is probably as cringy, uh, if not more. So it's just like, you know, we, we make it stuff. We make it stuff. I continue my quest today in our 15 part series, who is God known as Emmanuel. Okay, oh this is God. going to be riveting stuff. Continue to watch my videos. Thank you for subscribing <laughs> and we will continue on. Okay, let me just find my spot here. 
the meat just floated. Wow, this really goes on. You know, here. they change these things all the time. You don't know where everything is. <laughs> oh, my apologies. <laughs> Dang it, where, where did you. Where What's did them? you go? Does somebody have a phone? Can somebody ask Google where concordance? Go to the concordance. It's okay. Okay. Nobody well, nobody is. This is, to be honest, this is kind of how I operate anyway. Um, I have like a really bad memory, and so I'll have like when I'm talking about a topic, I'll have like a verse that's on like I'm like thinking about like the words of it, but I can't remember where it's from. So all the time, I will speak into Google, say. I will say the verse basically, and Google will tell me where it's from all the time. So this was taken from personal experience. <laughs> Nobody has a problem. It's all right. Okay, wait. That doesn't help me. Go to the words. Okay. I'm going to um, come back next week for another part, part 16 of the series. Um, make sure share it with your friends, and um, thank you for watching. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, dude, what the? Wake what? up. Sorry, that was just so boring. I... <laughs> oh my goodness, are you kidding me? That's so me. Well, that's not gonna work. Okay, but do you know what's super energetic? Though? What? What you could do is be one of those like um, uh, do one of those like couple things where you oh. you talk about relationship and marriage and idea. stuff like that. Still one, still gonna that's do well. this one day. This would be me. Hey guys! Hey, welcome to marriage and, and family <laughs> advice and relationships. So much work indeed. on this set. Like the set, though, those are all like um, stuffed animals that that I still literally have on my bookshelf across the way. Um, we, I don't know. I watched. I was in a stage where I watched a lot of content like this, so I I was dying to do a parody of this. And my name's Andrew. Um, hey, we're just talking about communication today. I just want to invite uh, my my wife in, a uh, Barb. <laughs> my wife Barbara. Oh, Can you imagine if I married somebody named Barbara? <laughs> <laughs> Fake crying is like my go-to comedic. <laughs> group, I feel like. It's like... Okay, more fake cry. Two Dude, double, if double I can't up on do the that, What kind of videos can I make? Okay, what you could do is slam false preachers. It's super popular online. Oh yeah, we yes. still we do some of this on TikTok. Just for fun. Hello, so, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Phil. Um, welcome to the program once more. Um, today we're gonna be reacting <laughs> to one of these demon possessed preachers by the name of Joel Osteen. <laughs> okay, Joel well, I would, Osteen. I might Joel, watch this guy. Joel this Osteen. Guy to YouTube channel. Joel Oost. Let's get into it. Whether you realize it or not, you are prophesying what on earth? your future. What I feel like what on earth? I, I feel like this whole video, not this video, but this whole video is just me laughing at my own content and my own jokes, which is kind of bad, but you know what? It, I, it is, this is funny and cringy at the same time. This, when we're saying I, things I'm like, I'm five I'm less, seconds into the I'm review strong. and I just heard I something that my mind can't get rid I'm of. I'm coming out of debt. I don't understand. That's not just being positive. What on you earth? Prophesying victory. Prophesying. Prophesying success. What on earth? Pro oh, oh, oh! That that T-shirt. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but it says "Roots Outdoors," and the the sub like title underneath the shirt is "Nature Is Truth." And I thought at seventeen it would be a great idea to cross that out and and insert Jesus. So you can see kind of Jesus scribbled in there, and so I crossed out nature so it says Jesus is truth. That's the kind of stuff that I was up to. Kind of cringy, kind of cool. I don't know. Like, you know what? I, I don't know. Prophesy a new levels. level. What is this? A new your brand? Life will move what in are the you direction talking about? Of your words. But what? too many people what? go around prophesying. prophesying just the opposite. We're all prophets? I never get What are we talking us. about? I don't understand I'll never get back in shape. Uh, yeah, that, oh, that just that wouldn't work. <laughs> that wouldn't go well. Yeah. yeah. No. I shouldn't do that. Not, like, not yeah, I might man. break some things. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I, I just got to make the videos that I like to make. Yeah, yeah that's that, a good that's idea. That's a good idea. And, I you know, I'm, I just finished. Yeah, I just finished, finished this puzzle. So. <laughs> the puzzle gig? What was that about? Let's go. Let's do it. Oh man. Wow. And that's the old logo too. I spent so much time on it. You can notice the, yeah, you can notice a lot about it, but honestly, not too bad for my first shot at Illustrator. Back then I was trying to do so much. I was trying to start this thing that it was like, I was like, oh man, daily disciple. What does that even look like? What does that even mean? What am I even supposed to do? I'm not that, I don't know. Uh, I wasn't the most like theologically knowledgeable guy. I wasn't, I didn't know the Bible in and out. Um, I wasn't the best, <laughs> the most well-spoken guy, still am not. I wasn't a great editor and still am not a great editor. As you're watching this video, you probably understand that. Um, but yet somehow, 
I just, there was this thing within me that had to create. Regardless of my skill or ability or how cringy it turned out, it was just like, I need to make stuff. And that motivates me to this day to be like, yo, not only do I want to preach the gospel, I want to help people follow Jesus daily. I want people to find him. And I also want to express my creativity that God's given me. And, and it's been so fun over these last years, just so many people coming alongside what I'm doing and being able to laugh alongside with me and laugh at some of my content, but also be encouraged and inspired by it to walk deeper. Um, I was on a Zoom call with some of the patrons and for you guys that are watching, uh, I just want you to let, let you guys know that I really enjoy getting to talk to you. And it was a really encouraging and cool experience of, of getting to talk with people that have been encouraged by the content, by their lives have been impacted by it. Sometimes when you're making content, everyone is just behind the screen. Well, that every, all the time, everyone is just behind the screen, but it's rare that you, at least for me, that you encounter somebody that you don't know in person that's like, hey, I saw, I've seen your stuff. It's really awesome. Like it's really impacted my life and helped me in my relationship with Christ. That's, a, that's so crazy. Like it really is. And so daily, I'm just kind of like in this place where I'm not, I haven't figured out exactly what I'm doing. You know, I'm still trying to learn, trying to figure it out. Each day is a new experience of coming up with stuff and to talk about and, and explore. But but just having the support behind me and you guys continue to come along, um, I, I just so appreciate it. So thank you. Um, this was a crazy video that, uh, you know what, I hope you enjoyed and uh, I will definitely see you guys next time. God bless. Bye.